All right, welcome to the pumpkin with light flickering tutorial here. Um, this is just an example of what the final product will sort of look like. This is in the low quality uh, render, a little light flickering, a little bit of surface bump map, stock pumpkin color cutting. Um, there you go. So let's get going. All right, so let's get started on making our pumpkin. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add mesh sphere. And before you click anywhere else, you may notice this window pops up or it might be minimized down here in Blender 2.8, add UV sphere. I'm just going to maximize it and your segments probably say 32. I'm going to change this to 60 right now so that there's more vertical segments. Uh, the 16 is fine. So I'll just hit enter to confirm and I'll right click my sphere and there's my sphere. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the period on the numpad just to zoom in there and you can see how many more lines I have, right? Just a little bit more to work with. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to start shaping this into the shape of a pumpkin. Now, there's lots of different shapes of pumpkins. Here's a little Google image here of a couple different pumpkins. I'm going to go for something like this one here, you know, these here. I'm not going to make mine tall, but of course you can make yours tall if you want. And so, you know, you find your pumpkin you want to imitate just as a little reference. And here's the tricks we're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into number one, or sorry, I'm going to go into edit mode, hitting the tab key. And there's a button here I'm going to use. Do, do, do. Let me find it. There it is right there, the little x-ray button. So when I click it, you can see I can see everything. Have that one on because I'm going to try to be, I'm going to select a whole bunch of them at once right from front and back so I want that one on now I would like a front view so press 1 on the num tab and you can see it takes us to front orthographic and then I'm gonna hit 5 on the numpad nope I don't want perspective I like orthographic now here's where I'm gonna work now I'm gonna do the same thing over and over here I'm gonna try to shape this circle or sphere into more of a shape like one of these and this is just one way to do it because I think it's pretty fast for beginners to do but I'll just do a little zoom in and I'm going to start with this. I'm going to hit Alt A to select nothing and then I'm going to hit B to border select and I'll select all those. You can see I have vertices selected right now. That's pretty good. And then with those selected, I'm going to try to move them up or down. Now you'll notice I'm not getting the move handles. So just check right here the gizmos default move. Okay, so I have these arrows. It'll make it easier. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this up a bit, and then I'm going to shift A to select nothing, and then I'm going to take these ones here, hit B border select. I'm going to select those. I'm going to move those up a bit. I'm going to Alt A to select nothing. I'm going to hit B to border select on these. I'm going to pull these down. Okay, so you sort of see how I'm trying to hit this part of the pumpkin here, right? I'm trying to go up and start to flatten out a bit. And so this part here just takes a little work um, how to do it. You don't have to do exactly what I do, obviously. B for border select. I'll take those. I'll move those down. I might even start to go down a bit, maybe on the next one. And then I can zoom in. You can hit the period on the numpad to zoom into a certain area. Alt A, nothing. B, border select. I'll grab those. Now I'm going to go in. And the very last part there, Alt A, nothing. And you can see I've got one little point there. I'll just try to get that one. And I'll move that down. And now when I go back to one on the numpad, and I zoom out a bit, not bad for the top of the pumpkin. And then what I can do is I can start to just do the bottom of the pumpkin the same way. So I'm going to skip that part. And I'll uh, hit the record in a minute to show you what I came up with. You go work on yours. Now, as you can see here, uh, the bottom, I'm actually not going to be viewing the bottom. My pumpkin's going to probably be on the ground. So I'm actually going to be quite happy just leaving this thing a bit flat on the bottom. I'm sort of going to have a bottom of the pumpkin neglect here. Uh, no offense to the pumpkin, but I'm going to sort of be happy with that. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, the first time you do this, you're going to realize that you may want to go back and redo it to get a better shape, right? We're just showing you the basic idea here. So here's what I have. I'll turn the x-ray off now. 
and there's my basic shape. Now at this point, you might want to give a little save, save as, and you might want to save this, you know, as pumpkin one, right? I'm going to save every stage here as I go along. All right, next part. I'm going to take this part of the top of the pumpkin out of there. So I'm going to hit 7 for top view. Just zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to hit C for circle select. And I'll switch to, oh, I'm not on faces. So let me just hit escape and I'll get out of that. Let me switch to face select. And now I'm going to hit C for circle select. And I'm just going to click pretty well right in the center. And it just grabs all those faces really quickly. Perfect. I'm going to hit X to delete them. And delete the faces. Okay. Later on, I'm going to close this hole up. And that stock is going to come out of there. So we'll do that later. Um, on the bottom. Oh, no. It took my bottom out. You know what? That's not a problem. If it took your bottom out for some reason, I can just fill that in later. So I'm not going to worry about that either. So here we go. What I want to do now is I want to work on this part of the pumpkin, these sort of grooves here. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube that show you this. Uh, here's one way that I find is really easy for beginners to do and gets you to the end product. So go into top view, 7, and zoom in a little. And what we want to do is we want to select every sixth edge okay, along the pumpkin. So for example, I'm going to switch to edge mode, and I'm going to grab that edge. And then I'm going to count six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the next one. So I'm holding the shift key down while I select one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Somehow I've got off track here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should end up on the line, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did it again. Either way, you guys will do a better job than I did. Get every six one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like I'm getting old. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not bad. Okay. Either way, you do yours perfect. I'm just doing mine fast there. Now, once I have all six of those, I'm going to do a little trick. You may or not know this one. It's a nice one. I'm going to go select. And I'm going to go loops and go for edge loops. And when you do this, poof, the edge just follows as far as it can along the pumpkin and loops the whole way around. Brilliant, right? Okay, that's an important step here that saves us a bit of time, right? Trying to select all those edges. These are the edges that I'm going to eventually, in a second, just move in. Okay, next part. I'm going to split this edge up. So I'm going to do a bevel. So the bevel is a edge move. And there's just bevel edges, or it's just Control B. Okay, I'll just do Control B. So get the cursor sort of close. Control B. And... You can see as I move the mouse, it does the bevel. I'll watch what's good. This is okay. This is okay. Don't go past, right? Don't make these lines cross over. It's going to mess up the mesh more than we're going to mess it up. So be happy with something like maybe this. Okay, not bad. And just left click. Okay, perfect. Now, with those selected, okay, and you've got them all the way around, I'm now going to do a scale. I want to bring those edges in tighter to the circle. So I'm going to hit S to scale. I'm going to hit X, and I'm going to hit 0.9. And you can see I just scaled in the X direction 0.9. Okay, see the result. I'm going to do the same thing now for the Y direction. S, Y, and I'm just typing 0.9. And now I did the Y direction. The reason I just didn't do a general scale is I didn't want the Z direction to be too scaled. Okay, or it messes up the top. Now... You can sort of see it looks like a pumpkin a little bit more, right? Not bad. I would save here. This is a good point where we can save as pumpkin too. And you can always go back if you want to sort of redo the general shape of the pumpkin at that point. Um, 
how far in to go, like scale 90% or scale 85, you know, it's up to you and what you're going for. Okay, next part. I want to make this look rounder. So I'm actually going to go back into uh, object mode. So I hit tab. It looks like this. I need it to look a little smoother. To do this, I'm going to add a modifier. So your modifiers, if you haven't used them in Blender or here under the wrench, and these modifiers, there's a whole bunch. They do stuff to your mesh. One great one here is subdivision surface. It basically breaks down the mesh and rounds it out a little bit more. So I'm going to click that, and you'll see instantly it starts to round out a bit. Now, there's a few little things here. This tells you how many divisions to do on the mesh um, in render mode, and this says how many to show you when you're in the viewport, which is where we are right now. I'm going to click just two and two. That should be fine for this basic model. Okay, so two and two, the Clark one, perfect. You see the simple? Not as good. Okay, I'm going to leave that one as it is just for a second. Now, usually, you can turn it on and off here to see your original. I can hit tab to see your original mesh when you're in edit mode. Now, usually you'd like to leave this on, but for this particular model, what we're going to do next to keep it easy for beginners, I'm actually going to apply this modifier. So at this point, you sort of have to be happy. So when you go one front view, right, and you're looking at it, you have to ask yourself, are you happy, you know, with the overall shape? Now, keep in mind, we are going to do a little extra modifier later where we can warp the pumpkin a bit, like we can sort of stretch it out here or fatten the bottom. So you still do have some control coming in a bit. So we saved at this point with the modifier, and now let's just apply. Once you apply the modifier, when you go into edit mode, this is, you know, your mesh now. Okay, there's no going back unless you go undo or pull up our old save file. Okay, the next part of the video is going to talk about cutting uh, the face out of the pumpkin and giving this a little color. And so check out that next video after you've got your nice pumpkin shape that you like. Thanks for watching.